The war on bacteria, okay, because I think that we're, you know, we're living in the middle of a culture that has, uh, you know, decided that bacteria are bad. Bacteria are enemies, and we just need to kill all of the bacteria to make our lives better. And I, I think that the best, um, well, the most vivid reflection of this is um, antibacterial hand cleansing products, right? So, you know, I'll bet, like, you know, I'll bet half of us here in our, you know, in our bathrooms, we have, you know, antibacterial soaps just because they're marketed so aggressively, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, I want to kill the germs on my hands. Um, but, like, you know, everybody's washing their hands with antibacterial products. And have you ever read an article saying less people are getting sick because everybody's washing their hands with antibacterial cleansing products? The opposite. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's like, nobody is suggesting that less people are getting sick because everybody's washing their hands with antibacterial products. And the opposite, the American Medical Association is, um, is saying that, well, in the places where we really need people to kill all the bacteria on their hands, like uh, operating rooms and places like that, they're less effective because everybody's using them at home, and it's hastening the whole crisis in um, uh, of the bacteria themselves developing resistance to, 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 to these chemicals. So, I mean, it's not to deny that there are pathogenic bacteria that exist that have the potential to make us sick, but that, but you know, the vast, vast majority of bacteria are bacteria which we can coexist really peacefully with. And you know, when you think about like you know. Our, our bodies, you know, each of us has this body that we think of as like, you know, our own special personal subjective entity that's just us, right? So the scientists who, who count cells, and I always forget the number, like how many zeros go, but like however many cells each of us is in possession of that has our unique uh, DNA, there are 10 times as many cells that are part of our bodies that are... Um, that are independently existing unicellular organisms, which our bodies are host to. Um, and so, you know, if you subscribe to uh, evolutionary theory, not everyone subscribes to that, um, but you know, if, like if, the basis of that is like all forms of life, including us, are descended from bacteria. No form of life has ever been able to live without bacteria. Um, you know, so, you know, this fly can't live without bacteria, and, um, you know, th these cabbages can't live without bacteria, and we certainly can't live without bacteria, and we're, um, we're dependent on bacteria for, you know, really every aspect of our physiological function. I mean, I think, you know, most of us are familiar with the idea that our digestion has something to do with bacteria, and, um, you know, everyone knows about yogurt. When you take antibiotics, you should follow that with, like, some yogurt or... Now there are supplements that are called probiotic supplements, and that's to sort of restore this um, digestive flora. The, main, um, the so mainstream has also just latched onto that. It's what's now, that? The mainstream is now latched yeah. onto, and it's showing up in, you know, as a as as an additional line of text on the on the on the labels of many many products now. Yeah, sure. It contains live live cultures. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, definitely. So, but. I mean, it is important for digesting the food and for um, assimilating the nutrients from the food, but it, it plays it plays a role in every aspect of our physiology, including our immune function. So, you know, these bacteria that we're always trying to kill on our hands, those are our first line of defense against those like small number of bacteria, which you know are potentially pathogenic. And um, you know, people who are continually killing off the bacteria on their hands and in their bodies are blank slate and it's like it's it's totally easy for the pathogenic bacteria to establish themselves in a blank slate whereas the um, you know a person with a thriving microflora inside their bodies and on the surfaces of their bodies um, those bacteria are our uh, you know number one defense against the potentially pathogenic bacteria they create a competitive situation so so bacteria really are our friends and protectors and our uh, ancestors and uh, you know and allies and they are you know they're they're not our enemies um, and uh, you know a world without bacteria would be um, you know a pretty unimaginable uh, uh, thing um, okay so 